Hi there, today I wanted to show you how to replace a broken clip on your hair topper. As you can see this clip was not working properly and I decided to actually show you how to do it. It's fairly easy and simple process to replace a broken clip. You're going to need a pair of scissors to cut the threading of the original clip that is installed on your hair topper. Just make sure to just cut the thread and not the polyurethane that is around your hair topper. So once you get done with that, you're going to clean all of the threading that uh, is attached, used to attach this clip. If you see that the thread is not coming out like in this case, you need to look on the other side because that is an actually starting point of uh, original clip that it was installed. So as you can see, I found it on the other side and I just uh, gently pulled it out. The next thing you're going to do is take your clip, make sure that it's working before you install it. Position it in the place where you want the clip to be installed in and take the needle. But before you start working on the uh, looping the thread through and everything, make sure that your needle is big enough to go through the hole um, or small enough to go through this hole because I had originally a, a big needle and I started working on it and it could not go through this small hole on the clip. But once you have that in place, you're going to loop the needle from under to start off and then you're going to go one more time through the same hole. You're going to move to the next hole working from under. You're going through the polyurethane under through the hole and then again. I do it twice uh, because right now you could actually end it here and move to the next side but I like to do it fairly quickly so I just moved to the next needle and then there you, you're going to have this uh, large um, line of the thread that's going to go under the clip, which it doesn't really matter. No one is looking, you know, to see how your clips look. So see how I'm pulling, pushing this under. And once it's under, it doesn't really bother, um, you know, with clipping and unclipping. It just stays like that. So I do everything from one shot. And then to finish it off, you just loop the needle through that last uh, loop and that is it you're pretty much done. I'm going to loop it through, finish it off, cut the thread, and that's it.